What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. Hopefully guys are having an absolute corker of a day, but today we're on episode 116. Let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot in this video is going to be the TLS 8K Sword Collection. This is going to be for still. Again, hopefully we can see all the different variations of the vanilla based game ones into the 8K texture. This is 8K on weapons such as a gigantic file that I had to separate that is awesome that they had to do that because that is great for us so for instance if you do have a selection of a few different things that you wanted to pick say for instance hopefully that this gigantic file is separated from all of the collection of swords then you can pretty much pick and choose your favorite to bung on that AK which is absolutely insane to separate all the swords and upload them separately Thank you very much, the TLS crew. That is absolutely awesome. So here's the first edition of Swords, and here we go. It is the steel ones. As you can tell now, they look really goddamn for Ness. Guys, I'm going to be bringing you all of the collection of these ones. Hopefully, again, we do get to see every single category, and I'd love to see an armor variation of this 8K texture too. These look really goddamn beautiful. Now, you're probably thinking an 8K texture for this steel pack. That is going to be a little bit pricey. Actually, surprisingly, it's not. Again, if you do want to pick up a few of these packs or individuals, that is fine. This one is going to be coming in at incredibly low for an 8K texture of 54.7 megabytes of a download. Guys, I cannot wait to cover and to see more of the vanilla ones to come out from TLS. Really excited to see that. Guys, go and grab this one. It looked absolutely beautiful. Again, the video does not do it any justice at all. For the second spot in this video is going to be Wolf the follower again this is done by stealthy wolf looks absolutely beautiful and the follower does look very interesting indeed this is wolf he is a standalone follower he can be found at the castle in windhelm he is a breton he is skilled at one hand two hand light heavy armor too stealth archery and conduration magic he also has a custom sword armor and shades which look really pretty goddamn cool kind of reminds me of a wrestler i'm not going to say too much if you can guess who that is in the comment section below that would be absolutely insane this follower will be constantly updated which stealthy wolf is working on a ton of different mods as we can tell on the bethesda.net page on the latest stealthy wolf has done loads of different ports and loads of different projects of himself which is really kind of cool too next to add for this character is going to be custom hair headgear custom voice quest and maybe a few updates to the face as well overall this is really goddamn nice again i cannot wait to see what stealthy does with this one and his other mods too this one is coming in at 57.8 megabytes of a download for the third spot and a lot of people have been waiting for this one it is going to be the gothic plate armor stealthy wolf has finally fixed it now it did come up on the bethesda.net website quite a while ago this is for xbox one over pc the pc version still stands to date but obviously it's taken that one down and tweaked it again but the xbox one did actually get shortly removed after it was uploaded absolutely ages ago and it is now eventually put back on and here to stay there is a few known issues for this one so do not panic about that too much stealthy wolf is very active within the comments on the particular page that you are asking on that one and he is obviously rectifying those as we speak too this mod adds a full set of plate armor can be crafted with advanced smithing perks or if you don't have that attribute to make this particular armor or you're feeling lazy or if you don't have the requirements to make this particular set of armor you can actually steal this from the castle barracks in solitude both come with two different or three different styles of helmet only found two but if you guys want to check this out further highly recommend this one this did blow up incredibly massive when it first came out on the bethesda.net website and i feel like it's doing that again and hopefully it is definitely here to stay this one is 32.2 megabytes of a download for the penultimate spot in this video it is going to be another TLS 8K texture. This one is for undead and for dragons. 
Holy moly, it looks breathtaking, especially dragons. Undead, you could get a closer look at, but just a quick glimpse of a dragon was absolutely breathtaking. This makes undead and dragons in 8K resolution. This is textures only. If you have used meshes for these, then put it under those in that. There is obviously a video for this one if you want to check it out for downloading prior to it. Just because I say that, because this is coming in a quite a large download size, but you've got to remember this these meshes are going to 8K, especially with the dragon as well that is a lot of polygons and pixels to add to the screen it is going to be 307 megabytes of a download but you've got to remember guys it does do a lot of attributes within the game you've got to think how many undead npcs within the game plus as well the dragons on this as i said before of the scaling to do with that too Overall, I don't think it's too bad. Hopefully, we can see an 8K overhaul with everything for a slightly less download size, maybe a light version, possibly a couple of gigs. I would love to give that to have that 8K resolution for the Xbox One. That would be absolutely insane. Or even the Xbox X. I'm not too sure if Bethesda are doing anything for that as well, of upscaling it quite possibly to 4K. But 8K with the Xbox X, maybe if Bethesda do put out that 4K as as well update for Skyrim Special Edition fingers crossed but that would be absolutely insane and for our last spot for this one I am a little bit late to the party for this particular mod but it did look really interesting I thought I'd dive into it that is for sure this mod is literally called Mortal Kombat the download size for this one is incredibly low for what you actually get you get a ton of different armors that you can craft as you can tell on screen now you will obviously need the corresponding smithing perks to make those two these are disenchantable and and they can be tampered they come in two different colors two different versions as boots bracelets the shirtless armor loads of different armors loads of different spells from tons of different characters within the mortal kombat franchise there's also some sub-zero spells there's a couple of races if you want to check out a full synopsis of this particular mod i'd recommend you do that just because i feel like everyone should at least try this mod i know the two don't really sort of clash together but for a download size of 190 kilobytes of a download it is absolutely insane the armors are for survival mode compatibility if you want to go and check that out but obviously the mod author the new joker 6 have discussed with him in my comment section below prior to that and he's made some really nice additions to the mod community and this is definitely a nice one to add as well and guys even if you aren't a massive fan of the Mortal Kombat franchise, let alone that download size of 190 kilobytes should definitely entice any mod taker to at least try this mod. So guys, that's it for this episode. This episode has been 116 within my series. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you'll be grabbing any of these particular mods. We have a lot of GC mods to come and have covered this week. So if you haven't checked out any of the other videos this week, go and have a little look because they have been absolutely brilliant. There's a ton of different mods that you can pick and choose from. At least five within every episode, which is really goddamn cool. Guys, if you're new around here as well, make sure you click that subscribe button click that little bell as well to get notifications for every single time i put a video out onto the channel but guys i really do appreciate you watching this video it means a lot to me but until the next one guys kill a kev here and kill a kev out